Increased lubricity, save your injectors. Increased fuel mileage, increased horsepower. Smoother idle, consistent engine performance. Fast diesel fuel systems. Let's see what we got. Bought this from my local dealer. He deals more than just diesel fuel pumps, if you know what I mean. So this is pretty cool. We got a relay. Chris loves relays. I'm trying to seal. We got a power, and I don't know where the ground is. Anyways, we're gonna use this. There's your mom's garden hose. My mom's garden hose. Does this have to go all the way up to the front? Uh, you watched the video. I didn't really, he didn't show everything, but this looks scary. The only thing I saw was it was like, bolt on its frame with one bolt. I didn't it's, like that. It should be with more. <laughs> Look, we got fittings, and a T. And greenhouse piping. You're really negative about this tonight. <laughs> We got two fuel line fittings, so it goes in line, it appears. Okay, I'm gonna turn the box so you guys can see it. <clears throat> we got a sticker. Yeah. That's like a good pumper. Yeah, it's a good pumper. So a fancy bracket. This one. It's actually pretty heavy. And there's my fast fuel water separator and my fuel filter. That was pretty loose. They wanted me to put it on there and have it fall off or something. <laughs> Can we spray paint them sweet. red so that they stick out of the truck red? 090817 it was made. And you just buy red filters. Oh, okay. Like yeah. the Baldwin ones? Yeah, but it ones. comes with those it filters. Comes with so filters. Use them. No, you buy new ones right away. <laughs> uh, what's that for? That's the one piece, bra the one bolt bracket. Actually? So this bracket goes to this one, and you go up and down how you need it. And this, from what I saw, it was one bolt that goes up. And then this bolts Wherever. on like that. And that bolts on like this. What? But everybody has them hanging sideways on their trucks. Yeah, so maybe... No, they have them, they always have them hanging where both filters oh, are. Oh, maybe it's like, like maybe this it's way? Like, so no, maybe it's like this no, way? No, 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 no. Oh. Maybe it's like this, and then you go this way. Yeah, this that way. makes sense. Because some guys lift them right up so that people can't seal it because people <clears> steal the pump. It's a couple bolts. So. I could have had this pump installed for an extra 80 bucks, but I decided we were going to install it and make a video for you guys and get ad revenue. So they give you this big fancy booklet with pictures and stuff, but you know what? It says right here, installation. Step one, go check out YouTube and watch how other people do it like me. So let's go. You don't have to go watch anybody else because we're going to do it for you, but we've got to go find another video that somehow shows me how to put this on. So let's go. This line goes to the tank. That Here's the, the filler. return line that goes up. This is so now that we've watched the video, we're going to like uh, put our pump together. So you need to get this orange T-tape stuff, wrap it around. You don't, yeah, need, it around, around. you don't need much, but you need some, just a dab will do. It's not one of those wireless fuel systems. Yeah. So this spins into here. Are you sure? Yeah. What's wrong with this? The operator. We need a corkscrew. You screw it in and pull it. Guys, it didn't work the first hundred times. Why isn't it working? You got like a pick. These aren't gonna work either. These will work, watch. Bam. Bam. Tools. So now that we've got these fittings started with thread tape, we're going to pull the filters off because they'll just get in the way. Just spin those off carefully. Drop them. And don't drop your pump because you might be buying a new pump. If you did. Now we're going to go to our real shop that has a vise and tighten those up. And we're going to take a 22 mil socket with us because that's what they are. So now we're back from the shop shop, and we're gonna put these brackets on the pump. So we're gonna use these spacers, uh, and Fast tells me that you 
you'll you always line your diagram up. So those two and that one. And then this bracket goes away from the pump with these three little bolts. These three bolts are an 11 millimeter socket. And we're gonna run them down with an impact just to make sure they're snug. So we're gonna use an impact that is uh, cordless. So before mounting the fuel system, um, FAST says to flip the pump up on end and spray liberally WD-40 or the equivalent into the water separator. It's this little one it looks like. So you spray a little bit of this. We're gonna use penetrating oil in there. And then we have this set up, Chris does, and it's kind of sketchy, but I'm just going to touch the negative and hope nothing goes wrong. I'd say it's gurgling pretty good. I would think so. So now we're good. Now we'll move on to the next step. So now you have to crawl under your truck, and the front box bolt needs to get taken out. Um, it's an 18 mil on this truck, I believe, and uh, let's hope we don't shear it off. If it does, we're going to have to find something that'll work. So, I was trying to find the bolt, so I got a light, and there's no bolt there, so we're going to have to find a bolt. So now you put this bracket, um, so that's the driver's side of the truck, put this bracket against the frame this way, and you run your box bolt back up. Um, if you're missing the bolt there, uh, you're in luck. Just go steal one of the other ones on the other side of the box. And then just forget that you're missing a bolt. Uh, if it's sheared off, uh, or if you shear it off, I guess you're out of luck. Um, but we were able to retrieve another one, so let's go put it on. Just put your rubber in between and just send it. So these four bolts, washers and nuts, are what secures the two brackets together. The one bracket we have hanging off the frame rail, and the other bracket we have previously already installed to the pump. So now that the pump is on, um, you just put your filters on and you look like a cool kid, so you don't need to go any farther than that. To get the fuel cooler off on these Duramaxes, you need to remove these three bolts. There's two, so this is the bottom. Uh, there's two here and one up top here. Uh, you can use either a 13 or a half. I ended up using a 13 and pounding it on because there's so much under oil under there. Um, and then you need a fuel line disconnect tool. Uh, you need the half inch fuel line disconnect. Uh, and you just push that in there. I fought with mine for about an hour, uh, but what I ended up figuring out was if you just take a pair of uh, vice grips, put them on gently, and just turn it a little bit, it actually popped right off, and I got covered in diesel, but she finally came off. So I'll just give you a quick shot under the truck. All right, so there's the fuel line, and I still actually got my fuel line uh, disconnect tool up here, the one that actually finally did it for me. As you can see, I've had a variety of them sitting over there, uh, and I actually used some penetrating oil on this one as well. So, the two bolts, as you can see again, and there's just one up top of this bracket for the fuel cooler. Mine was just looped, uh, and it's probably got a leak. Yep. So here we just have some AC Delco 5W30 oil, um, and you just you want to put a little bit on the end of there. Just that it slips in nice and easy. Uh, doesn't matter if you get a little bit inside of it. Diesel is pretty lubricating as well. Um, <clears throat> so let's do this about the garbage pail. Still think you need a clamp? Uh, that was pretty tight going on. I don't know. No. It's sucking. I think it should be fine. Don't want crap in there. Right, so this is the wiring harness from Fast. Um, so. These two wires go to the battery. Uh, the red one is fused. Let's see if there's even a fuse on it. I don't know. There is a 10, 10 amp fuse. So that goes to the battery. Then as we go farther down, um, this relay, now this gets confusing. Okay, so this relay, um, it has the main power in from the battery, 
Uh, the ground does not go through the relay, but the power does. Power comes in. So by the looks of it, this is your ignition trigger wire. Yep, that's just a single wire. So that comes from the ignition. So we're gonna go from the ignition fuse on the block. And then it's really simple after you got that. You honestly, you just need a power to ground and an ignition um, signal. And you just plug this into your fast and you're good to go. And that's just two prongs that power the unit. So we're gonna feed this wire. This plugs into the fast. We're gonna pull this back down first and run it with the factory harness down underneath by the frame. That was a good zip tie. So on these Duramaxes, they've got both batteries up front here. Uh, and this one, it's a side post battery. So we're, just, we're taking the power off of where the power comes up to the fuse panel. So we just tuck her in there. Clean bolt. Always ground off of a clean bolt. We chose to use this one covered in under oil just to make sure it's clean. So we're priming the fast. Uh, you need to crack open the fuel filter, not the water separator. Um, just crack it and then, did you hear anything? Didn't hear anything. But that's as cracked as it was before. You can't see in there, but you can hear it pumping fuel. So you know that now your fast is pumping fuel. Josh, what happened? I don't know, we got a leak somewhere. We gotta find out what it is. So we got the fast all primed now. Uh, it's pretty pretty straightforward. Um, when you crack it, just kind of spin it so that the air can freely get out. Um, we didn't do that the first time. Uh, we didn't know what we were doing, so we just tried to crack a little more and then right away it primed. Um, and then when you fire it up, let it run. Uh, it's supposed to let it run for about a minute, then check for leaks. Um, I unfortunately, the return line from the fuel rails Going back to the tank, uh, it's a little bit crusty. I must have bumped it pretty good when I was fighting with that fitting down there, or I know I bumped it. So we're gonna have to fix that. But I gotta go get some fuel and I can throw some conditioner in it, make sure everything doesn't gel up and it gets lubricated real well. So that's, that's how to install the fast. Crack it, yep. Fire it up, Josh. Just learned that from Kev. Yeah, go wash your hands. So since we just put the fast in, we're also gonna put some uh, Lucas oil upper cylinder lubricant with injectors, blah, 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 blah. So we're just gonna put um, approximately uh, 300 mil, between 200 and 300 milliliters. So a couple good glug, glug, glugs. 